What's up, fam? So, all right. So, 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 I think we already looked at this. IE engine. Uh, finally got, I actually spilled oil on this. Spilled the uh, oil on this. Uh, and uh, 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 so that's a gasket, the head for the head gasket. And then I got about $300, including the head gasket, worth of, I think it's $300. 327 almost $400 worth of gaskets. That's my cost on them. So let's see, hopefully we got good news on this Golf R with this fuel level cylinder issue. All right, so I finally fixed this Golf R that I've been dealing with. Um, so I did the, we did the low side, <clears throat> the in-tank pump, and I kept getting these fuel level cylinder faults, like, like all the time, every time you, every time I put it in basically. So I ended up having to trim some of the fuel pump down, take the whole basket apart, and modify it, even though it was already modified. It was, yeah, but anyways, <laughs> that one's fixed out of my life. So now I can start working on this thing. So now that I'm over here, I don't know how I'm gonna clamp this up. So we got a set of uh, heads to, ow, head studs here. Gosh dang hamsteads. That are taped closed. Take out a razor blade and I lose them all the time. Got some instructions. This. Got the nuts, some washers. Always identify the part number of the application. ARP head studs. Notice this box is needed for exchange or warranty. You must have the weight, date, blah, blah, blah. ARP sticker. Clean, inspect hardware. Ensure the proper accurate torque readings. Blah, 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 blah. You know, I have a torque wrench here. Cylinder heads. Screw studs in the hand tight only. Loctite may be used if permanent mounting of studs is preferred. The fastener, however, must be torqued prior to lock tight. Okay. <sighs> Preload torque recommended the following. The manufacturer recommended tighten three nuts in three equal steps at 80 foot pounds with fastened lubricant, ultra torque fastener. Some lubricant has been specified. <laughs> and everything and I freaking forgot sealant paste That's wrong. this is when you know you're building a bad a motor a bad a motor it's when you got these gosh dang gosh dang studs on here this one you this guy means business it's business time is that, are those people still around? This is exciting, isn't it? Just us, me, and the camera. I know, you think of Daniel. How do you get those? Oh, look at this, merch. I'm not selling it yet, because I don't have a distributor, really. Uh, my sister-in-law made this. Merch, get it at the link in the description, below, not below. I don't know who would be interested in buying all the way at 500 subscribers too. I'm halfway to monetizing. Not that that's my goal. I don't know what my goal is actually, just to be the best I could be, you know? It's funny because a lot of people that, uh, Get a 
gum? I think you can gum and make a rug. I don't know what the hell it is. All the, you know, everybody at work's like muscle car guy and horse big, you know, leaders per fucking river high. And it's just, everybody always gets caught off guard when I'm building a, you know, a, a Volkswagen. Oh, back in my day, they were air cooled. So, it's kind of cool to see. I remember when I had my R, everybody th like, oh yeah, I just got a Golf R, and they're like, oh, cool. <laughs> I didn't even, what, who do you think you, I, who cares? I'm like, oh yeah, my car's probably faster than that. They're like, sure, buddy. Then I went to the racetrack, because I track my car, I don't do quarter mile stuff. But the one time I did go to the track, I think my R ran a 12.2, and then, you know, it should have been 11.9s, but it was in a weak-ass tune. But... Everybody's like, damn, I didn't know that thing ran that fast. Well, you know, it's pretty cool. You know, that's a cool feeling. It's when you just have two liter, 400, well, I don't know how much horsepower it had. But, yeah, you know, it everybody off guard. It's pretty fun. Fun stuff. So I went through all the work to pull the studs out of the block on the other one for the the locating dowels for the cylinder head. Yeah, they gave them in the bag. Okay. So, grab a head gasket. Just kidding, it's right here. So I finally fixed this Golf R that I've been dealing with. Um, so I did the, we did the low side, <clears throat> the in-tank pump, and I kept getting these fuel level center faults, like, like all the time, every time you, every time I put it in, basically. So I ended up having to trim some of the fuel pump down, take the whole basket apart, and modify it, even though it was already modified. And it was, yeah, but anyways, <laughs> that one's fixed out of my life. So now I can start working on this thing. So, now that I'm over here, I don't know how I'm going to clamp this out. There we go. So we got a set of uh, head, st ow, head studs here. Yes, damn head studs. That are taped closed. I take out a razor blade and I lose them all the time. Got some instructions. This. Got the nuts, some washers. Always identify the part number of the application. ARP head studs. Notice this box is needed for exchange or warranty. You must have the weight date, blah, blah, blah. ARP sticker. Clean, inspect hardware. Ensure the proper accurate torque readings on blah, 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 blah. You know, I have a torque wrench here. Cylinder heads, screw studs in the hand tight only. Loctite may be used if permanent mounting and studs is preferred. The fastener, however, must be torqued prior to lock tight. Okay. <sighs> Preload torque recommended the following the manufacturer recommended tighten three nuts in three equal steps at 80 foot pounds with fastened lubricant, ultra torque fastener. Some lubricant has been specified. <laughs> Yeah. 
I forgot. Got all the gaskets and everything, and I freaking forgot. Sealant paste. That's the wrong one. It says hand tight only, but it gives you a little thing for Allen's on the top. This is when you know you're building a bad A motor. A bad A motor is when you got these gas dang, gas dang studs on here. That's when you. This guy means business. It's business time. Is that, are those people still around? First guess. Guess, first try. This is exciting, isn't it? Just us. Me and the camera. I know. You think Daniel? How do you get those? Oh, look at this merch! I'm not selling it yet because I don't have a distributor really. Uh, my sister in law made this merch. Get it at the link in the description below, not below. I don't know who would be interested in buying. I'll have 500 subscribers too. Halfway to monetizing. Not that that's my goal. I don't know what my goal is actually, just to be the best I could be, you know? It's funny because a lot of people that, uh, gum? I can gum in my garage. Oh, All the, you know, everybody at work's like muscle car guy and horse big, you know, leaders per fucking river high. And it's just, everybody always gets caught off guard when I'm building a, you know, a, a Volkswagen. Oh, back in my day, they were air cooled. So, it's kind of cool to see. I remember when I had my R, everybody th like, oh yeah, I just got a Golf R, and they're like, oh, cool. <laughs> I didn't even, what, who do you think you, I, who cares? I'm like, oh yeah, my car's probably faster than that. They're like, sure, buddy. Then I went to the racetrack, because I track my car, I don't do quarter mile stuff. But the one time I did go to the track, I think my R ran a 12.2, and then, you know, it should have been 11.9s, but it was in a weak-ass tune. But... Everybody's like, damn, I didn't know that thing ran that fast. Well, you know, it's pretty cool. You know, that's a cool feeling. It's when you just have two liter, 400, well, I don't know how much horsepower it had. But, you know, it's everybody off guard. It's pretty fun. Fun stuff. So I went through all the work to pull the studs out of the block on the other one for the the locating dowels for the cylinder head. Yeah, they gave them in the bag. Okay. So, grab a head gasket. Just kidding, it's right here. Hey, nice.
<sighs> Obviously, make sure your head's clean. It did the, this already went to the park washer at work. Ah. Oh, sorry, guys. Time to get to that. Ah, uh, glowing sound. Washers. No one can go actually. Four. housing here. This is the EQT housing. Um, I don't really know what to say about it. I don't really know what it is. I just know it's a housing. And I'm putting it on this turbo. That's all I know. That's my story. Sticking to it. So, let's work on this thing. This one apart. Okay. So, let's see. Gonna go ahead and disconnect the wastegate arm with this E clip here. I have to fling it to the moon and lose it. Easy enough. Bam, pop the rod off. No adjusting. Hopefully. Rod is off. Now it's a coin everywhere. There's more. Getting some out. Grab a, what is that, a 10? Can you guys tell me what's in there? I guess we go slightly bigger right here. It's pretty normal when these make noise like this when you do not have, because this bushing right here gets loose. So, not until I put this back on, it'll go away, that noise. was I could do this all day <laughs> instead of just on the side you know make life so much easier I 
Mosquitoes trying to eat me alive. Am I hitting here? Well, if I had luck, if I had no luck, if I, uh, however that saying goes. So, turns out that this engine block will not work. Um, I'm not sure what the variation is here or whatever. Um, but it looks like, so when I put the balance shaft in, you can see right there that that white jism spot. There's supposed to be a hole there, so there's supposed to be one, two, and then a third hole. But there's no third hole. So, maybe they got mixed up, or who knows. Um, it's unfortunate. It happens. So, um, I'm going to get in contact with IE and get it all sorted out, I'm sure. It's kind of a bummer, because, you know, <laughs> my garage is a disaster, and I was hoping I could get the car out of here sooner than later. But, what are you going to do? So, just wanted to update on the Garfar, so that's what's happening. So, I will talk to you guys later.